everybody, my name is Luke Mar. this is Hotla Mode, and today on Hotla Mode we are going to be doing another, the third episode of Fashion 101 and the third episode of our Black History Month special. And today we're going to be talking about the world-renowned, sorry my sh my shoe came off, sorry. We're going to be talking about the world-renowned makeup artist, Pat McGrath, everyone. Ooh, God, I love you, Pat. You're the best, Pat. So let's get straight into it. Pat is known as possibly one of the best makeup artists in the fashion industry. She does so many different shows. She has her own line of makeup. She works with so many different designers, so many different stylists, so many different magazines. And I think that if you ask anybody in the fashion industry, what do you th who is like the best makeup artist in the entire fashion industry? They would say Pat McGrath. So that just like goes to show that Pat is queen. So Pat is from England. She her mother is Jamaican of a Jamaican descent. So Pat was introduced to fashion and makeup and beauty and all those different things at a very young age. This is a quote from Pat. It says, "She trained me basically to do the shows right there. Look at the pattern, check the fabrics, look for the makeup, and begin." So, Pat was, like, beginning to do this at a very young age. Um, I know also that Pat used to start to make her own makeup because her mother did it. Because during, like, the early 90s, 80s, there was not a lot of makeup for darker-skinned black women. And so Pat's mother used to mix her own makeup. And so Pat kind of picked that up. And she started to make her own makeup as well. So, another really interesting thing is Pat has never been, like, formally taught about fashion nor about makeup. She never went to, like, a beauty school. So then Pat moved to London, and she used to kind of, like, go out during the clubs, and that was when, in London, the club scene really blew up. Like, the 80s, early 90s. And she would do her makeup, wear, you know, her crazy, like, club kit attire, and the people would come up to her and be like, can you do my makeup for me, like, next time we go out? And Pat would be like, okay, like, sure, yeah, whatever. And then she started to work with Edward Ennenfell, who, if you want to know who Edward Ennenfell is, you can look right here, and you can watch the video about Edward Ennenfell. While he was at ID Magazine, and she used to, like, help him out and do all the makeup for the photo shoots for ID. So some of the big brands that Pat McGrath has worked with are... Jill Sander, Prada, Giorgio Armani, um, John Galliano, um, Diane von Furstenberg. Um, Pat does, a, they say, about 35 runway shows, give or take a season. So that's like 70 shows a year that she's coming up with, like, different, you know, taking in the collection very, you know, in a shorter period of time and adapting her skills to create a unique look for the brand or for the brand and then the season for the brand. And certain brands do more than just two seasons a year. So if you're thinking about haute couture, menswear, that's a lot of shows to be working with. So Pat kind of does a whole lot a lot. So a really, really interesting thing is Pat opts to work more with her hands, like using her fingers to apply the makeup to the models because she finds that it's easier to apply it. Um, and I think, honestly, it's kind of, like, the coolest thing I've ever heard of. Like, not using a brush, but, like, you know, using her fingers to apply eyeshadows and, you know, all of that stuff. I think that's crazy and cool, and I love that. Um, also, Pat is, like, has a signature headband look that she, like, totally does, which I love. And everybody in the fashion industry calls her mother. Um, I know my friend Michael who knows Pat personally. I was talking to him the other day, and he was like, in your Naomi Campbell video, you called Naomi mother. And he was like, that's not who they call mother. They, everybody, like, all of the models will call Pat mother because, like, she's just such a nurturing and, like, kind person to all these really young girls who have a lot of, you know, stress on them to, you know, be perfect. And Pat kind of helps them and, like, you know, mothers them, so they call Pat mother, which I thought was like a really interesting fact. Pat is also really well known for her use of color. Um, it's like kind of her signature thing is to use really bold, vibrant hues that are kind of well known throughout the fashion community. 
kind of also a very savvy businesswoman. She owns her own beauty line, which is very hard to do, but she does and she manages and, you know, she's super crazy cool. Also, really cool, interesting fact that I found out, Pat is an MBE and that's like a member of the British Empire and she is a member of the British Empire for services to the fashion and beauty industry. So she's like pretty much a knight. Like they pretty much like knighted her. I actually don't know if that's true, but imagine like Pat McGrath getting like knighted with like a sword. Oh, I'm dead. I literally, that would be amazing. Other little factoid. Um, when Pat goes out to work, like because she's traveling so much, she takes about 30 to 50 bags of like makeup, accessories, and all that kind of different stuff with her so that she has like this kind of big you know, palette to work with, which that must be like a real nightmare for flying though. That must be something else. I'd also love to see that. Pat McGrath being knighted with her like 50 bags of makeup in each arm. That would be, that would be a show to say the least. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you to Pat McGrath for being so awesome so that I could talk about you on this great show that I have. Um, if you like this video, please like it. If you want, you could tell me who you guys want me to talk about next. Um, I already have somebody planned for the end of, for like the finale of the Black History Month, but, but, I'm looking for other people to be doing straight out of the cage as soon as we're done with Black History Month. So comment below who you guys want me to talk about and any other kind of suggestions you need for this channel so that I can provide that for you would be awesome as well. Um, and if you want, you can subscribe to me so that you can see all the different cool things that I do because I don't just talk about the fashion industry. Sometimes I do other stuff like making lookbooks and little films. So don't worry about it. So yes, like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys soon. T. T. Y. L. L.